Well, this has caused a fair degree of controversy this week. Not this exact thing, this razor, which I clearly don't use, but uh, there's been an ad from Gillette uh, that has wound a few people up. And I'm not actually 100% sure why they're wound up. First of all, if you haven't seen the ad, uh, Google it, or I'll put it in a link or something. I don't know. It's, it's out there. You just Google Gillette ad, you're going to see it. It's everywhere on the internet right now. Second of all, I want to start off by saying that when we're talking about a group of people and addressing issues within that group of people, the counter argument is not to discuss a different group of people. So if we're talking about men, and that's a huge population of people, like, you know, about half the world, the counter arguments or the counter discussions to what we're talking about are not discussions about women. We're talking about men. The argument is not that women also need to be better or anything like that. That's not today's current discussion. That's not an issue that I think is worth bringing up in response to the challenge to men that has been laid down, I guess, laid down whoop, by, you know, company that makes razor blades. The challenge, as I see it from Gillette, whose tagline has always been the best a man can get, is a challenge for men to look for ways to be better. Where it appears that people are upset is that the challenge to be better is regarding character. It's regarding your capacity to participate in a way that improves the world for others. And by definition, you would imagine that improves the world for you. Now, if Gillette was asking you to run faster than you've ever run before, if it was asking you to run further than you've ever run before, and my good friend Jamie Milne was on there just running ultra marathons back to back because he's insane, or we're talking about kicking more goals than you've ever kicked in a season and some you know, bald footballer was in it, we wouldn't be upset about that. That's aspirational. We get fired up about it. We watch videos on YouTube about it. We read books about these people that are trying to do fantastic things. We aspire to be those people. And in the playground, you know, we're trying to emulate those people. But when the challenge is, hey guys, how can we be better as people? That seems to have rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. Now, I don't know if it's rubbed heaps and heaps of people the wrong way or if the people who've been rubbed the wrong way are just very vocal about it. But I don't see the problem in challenging people to be better, to be the best version of themselves. If you're already great, if you already do a great job of looking after people, why not just try and be a little bit better? If you're not that great, that's fine. Be a bit better. No one starts at the top of the pile. Having strong character and being a good person, just like anything else, is a process that never really ends. You don't get to a point and go, cool, I can tap out, I'm good now, I'm done. If you're fortunate enough to live in an environment where everyone around you has amazing character, where everyone's fantastic and everyone treats people with respect, when everyone's opening doors for opportunity to each other and helping people along, helping people feel safe and included, helping people feel heard, helping people feel cared about, hey, power to you, that's fantastic. And if you're one of those people, I'll challenge you to keep raising the bar in that space. But the secondary challenge in that space is to find a way to communicate to people who aren't there yet ways that they can join you in that space. It's not about sitting on top of the hill and telling everyone that they're terrible. It's not about telling people off or dobbing people in. It's about finding ways to communicate with people who don't understand, who don't get it, who haven't seen it before, to communicate with them in a way that they understand opportunities to become better people, challenges that they readily take up. That's the challenge. People who aren't doing a great job, and there's plenty of them, people are on bell curves in every kind of domain from good to bad and big to small and fast to slow and bald to, you know, not bald or bald with a razor, whatever. There's nothing wrong with saying, hey guys, why don't we look at ways to be a little bit better? When it comes to character, I don't think it's any different. So when Gillette is asking us to just be a bit better, help each other be a bit better, find ways to be a bit better, I don't understand why people are upset about that. Being good is an active process. Looking after people is an active process. Building character is an active process. It's something that happens over and over again. You've got to earn it every day. People make mistakes, we all do, and that's fine. But you can't recognize that you've made a mistake unless you know where you're going. You can't recognize that you haven't hit the markers that you want to hit unless you set those markers out in front of you. So. If you're one of those people who regularly hits their markers, who regularly does act the way that they believe they should act, then we need to help other people set out markers for themselves and bring them along. It's not about sitting up here and saying, hey, we're better than you, or I'm better than you, or you're better than me, or don't yell at me because I'm not good enough. 
but about finding ways to bring everyone along, finding ways to help everyone be a bit better, to build better character, to help the people around them find opportunities, to feel heard, to feel understood, to feel cared about. I think when Gillette are talking about the best a man can get, that's what they're talking about. It's not saying that everything we're doing now isn't the best it's ever been, but we believe it can be better. In the same way that we don't just stop the Olympics once there's been a world record broken, we hang in there for another four years and see if people can do an even better job in four years' time. We should be doubling down in the area of character and community building. We should be doubling down on that in the areas of understanding and better conversations and better care for others. We should be doubling down on being the best that a man can get, whether we get told to do so by a bloody razor company or we're telling each other to do it, it doesn't really matter. I don't know why people are upset about it and I'm not sure if it's just noisy people who are mad, but perhaps the not mad people should be a bit noisy as well. I hope everyone finds an opportunity to be a little bit better and look after each other a little bit better. I hope men actually step up to the challenge of being better and helping each other be better. And I hope that in the future, we aren't offended by the challenge to just build more character and do a better job for one another. In the meantime, Keep looking for opportunities to help one another. Keep looking for opportunities to grow. Remember that I care, you matter. As always, just be nice.